Okay, today we're going to talk about fuel oil ratios and how to mix them and what's going on. All right. um, this is how I do it. Um, I, I use this two cycle low ash, right, from Ace. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a generic brand, but it says right here on the box it is blended, right, with fuel stabilizer, right? That, that helps the oil mix better with the gas and it keep, runs better in your engine and it doesn't clog up and foul the spark plug and all that stuff. I mean, I, this is not the greatest oil in the world, I said, but this is the one that we use, right, to mix with our gas here in Phoenix. I also want to talk a little bit about my new super handy duty mix miser tool. This is a really cool tool. It's not constructed very well, but... Right, it's pretty cool that helps out, right? It's got all it's got all the fuel ratios right here that you need to mix, right? And on the side it says if you're gonna mix a gallon of gas, you gotta do this four times. And here's got different ratios. It got it for liters too. And it's a little plunger, right? It's all plastic. I think you know, right? This is how it works. The cool thing is it came with this little cool plastic little tube, you know what I'm saying, that you fit on. You can suck the oil out of the box if you want. And and right here is the little storage area for it. You know what I'm saying, on the thing. I, mean, I don't use it because I have a different system. My system involves pouring the oil into this jar and letting it rip. But anyways, today, right, um, you can use synthetic oil for this. I mean, but it's recommended that, that if you do use a synthetic oil, you use a good one and you mix it exactly to whatever ratio it is, right, that, that you're trying to get. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like here, on the old mix miser here, it goes as low as, you know, 25 to 1. Right, for a pint of gas, you know what I'm saying, or six, I think it's for a liter. Right, you know what I'm saying, so that works out. Anyways, what we're doing today is we're doing 32 to 1, you know what I'm saying, so I'm going to mix me up a batch real fast because we need to go on a little excursion today. All right. 32 to 1 works out to be exactly 4 ounces of two soak, two soak oil to 1 gallon of gasoline. You always want to start by putting your oil into the tank that you're going to be mixing. Right on this one, it's got this handy dandy little one ounce calibration right here. So I just got to look in, suck me up, and go. Sounds like the old, the old mix miser's acting up a little bit here. And it's not the greatest of manufactured parts because it's all plastic and there's no rubber plunger right, or any of that stuff. So what do we got here? Uh, it turned out I was lucky. I poured just enough. See, after you've done this a few times, you get to. You develop an eye for how much you actually need, right? You always end up with a little bit in the thing. What I do is I always pull it back to plunger and let it sit for a bit, squirt it down again, get all of it in there. You want to keep your mix miser separate from wherever else and winning so it doesn't get kicked over and none of that stuff. Okay, now you want to store your gasoline in the certified, you know what I'm saying, super can right here to prevent fire and spills and mishaps and all that stuff. Right, you don't want to use old gas, right? You don't want to use gas that's over 30 days old because it does mix well, it's bad. It's, you know, the whole thing is messed up. Right, so here we go. Right, you also don't want to mix two-stroke oil with E85. That alcohol-based fuel, it doesn't work right for two-stroke engines. You'll burn up your stuff in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? So we got a gallon here, and I mix it 32 to 1, so I'm mixing a gallon into a gallon. Right, so here we go. You gotta be careful with this stuff. You don't want to make a mess. Spill it all over. Oops, oops, oops. Come on, you sucker. Nah, 
The other two are gone. Safety first. Once you got it all in there, you screw the cap on. Make sure that your vent tube is closed and your cabinet is closed. Right, hey, Mr. Butterfly. And then give her a good little shake. Wipe up any of it if you spill, you know what I'm saying? This is wood. We don't want to catch this where we send smoke cigars, so. <laughs> give it a good shake. Let her sit. A couple other things I want to go over with you here, all right, is that for my little Chinese motorized bicycle motor, I'm using 32 to 1, right? After, during the break-in, we ran it like 24 to 1, a little bit like that. I wanted to get a little bit more oil in it because we had that bad head gasket and we had to, we had to make our own head gasket. So it was running a little higher compression, so I wanted to give it a little bit more oil to run through there to break it in. But right now we're running 32 to 1. We got a couple hundred miles on it, a few hours. It's broken pretty good. It runs good. Um, for other small, if you're making gas for other small handheld engines, two strokes, you know, like the Weedy or the Chainsaw, or you got a little, one of them little rat cycle, you know, killer things or whatever, um, a lot of manufacturers recommend running at 40 to 1, which is 3.2 ounces for every one gallon of gasoline, right? Some recommend you run it at 50 to 1, which is 2.6 ounces of two stroke oil per one ga gallon of gasoline, you understand? It works either way, you know, same, there was... A cutoff thing somewhere I was reading that before 2003, right, it was they ran everybody at 20, 32 to one. It didn't matter what size engine it was, big, small, round, around, but it was two stroke. But after 2003, they started building, the, they started making the oil with the stabilizer built into it, right, and that kind of sort of was change of compression or something, right. So they would start recommending everybody run 40 to one. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it goes for your little engines. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, that's how you do it. 32 to 1, pre-mixed gasoline for my Chinese engine motorized bicycle. If you like us, you know, Sam, please subscribe. Thank you.